it gets boring. And it, it's kind of sad that we're, we're attracted to like the bad boy stereotype. And I feel like that comes into play because I have I have a strong character. So naturally, I just want a strong man. Like I want somebody to be like, shut up, like you wrong. Calm yourself down. Um, it's to the point where, for example, like I've been talking to him for almost a month and we haven't done anything sexually because he's so nice that he's taking his sweet time with it. Would you give it to him? And I'm like, bro, just choke me right now and throw me on the bed. Like, you know, and he's like, no, chill. Like. Let's take our time <laughs> because he's that nice. The man's actually cock blocking himself. Respect to this woman, actually, because she's at least got some self awareness. She's being honest, and that's a nice, refreshing thing to hear in this cultural propaganda wave that we always subject to of like, oh, women want the nice, sensitive, like emotional guy who treats you really well when their actions consistently show that they're sleeping with the bad boys. It's just always nice when a woman honestly admits what's driving her sexual behavior rather than giving the culturally approved like message of feminism. Her response to this black guy who's so nice that he's not even touching her after a month of dating her is frustration. Like, God, just choke me and just take me please step up show some confidence show some masculinity show some strength make me attracted to you this nice guy act it's not delivering what you think it's delivering in this video i'm going to explain to you that the message that women don't appreciate niceness doesn't go far enough it's worse than that niceness on men Women don't even notice. They're invisible. You've probably heard me reference on this channel the concept of invisible men, that segment of the male population that women aren't even aware they exist. One of the characteristics that defines that wave of invisible men is their niceness. It makes it so that women don't know that you exist. I think of that invisibility cloak from Harry Potter that, like, he wraps around himself and then just disappears. That's what happens when a man becomes really nice as he wraps himself in that niceness and then he just disappears from the eyes of women. In this video, I'm going to explain how female psychology works when it encounters male niceness and why, as a man, you're never going to be noticed or appreciated for your nice qualities. You don't want to wear some nice guy invisibility cloak. If you want to wear a cloak, you want it to look like this guy. This is Baron Samedi. And what you're looking at right now is the game Samedi Manor Idol Simulator. You can start playing this game right now for free. Just click the link in the description box below. Samedi Manor is a business simulator where you help the Baron create this army of underworld spirits. It's all about optimizing your management. They're always adding new content, which means that your quest to maximize your profit always stays fresh and interesting. You don't want to be a nice guy, and there is nothing less nice than raising an army of monsters and ghouls from the underworld. Samedi Manor is easy to play. They've got great features like the automation of farm production, so you're not you know, constantly clicking. You can focus on making the important decisions. The graphics are great. Visually, it's a very pleasing experience. I mean, check out all of these characters that you can get. Even better, you can enjoy it anywhere, offline, online. Did I mention that it's free to play? Check it out, Samedi Manor. There's a link in the description box below. You can download it straight away. I want to tell you a personal story from my life that really brought home for me how little women notice and appreciate my nice qualities. I have this female friend and she's very close to my girlfriend. And I was told about a conversation that the two of them had recently where they were discussing my relationship with my partner. And this friend made the comment that I'm really good for my girlfriend because while she's very focused on, you know, safety and stability, I'm a little bit more uh, <laughs> risk taking, I suppose, like a bit more adventurous, a bit more ambitious. And this friend was saying, well, I'm really good for my partner, you know, like I push her out of her comfort zone. I encourage her to try new things. I mean, so far, so good. I'm liking this conversation because it's somebody noticing my masculinity and noticing the positive effect that it has on my partner. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. But the next part of the conversation I didn't really like because <laughs> the follow up to that was this friend saying that my partner is really good for me because she rounds out all of my spiky bits. You know, I can be a bit blunt and, you know, that sort of feminine smoothness is really good for my personality. At first glance, I think that this probably wouldn't seem like it should annoy me. It shouldn't be controversial. It's like, yeah, that's one of the point of getting into a relationship with a woman is that you can enjoy her femininity. But it actually really bothered me that somebody perceived me as being, you know, pointy. Like, I like that my masculinity is noticed and appreciated. Like, yes, I do know what I want. I have a certain amount of 
confidence. I know who I am and I have the requisite level of assertiveness to shape my world to suit myself. And I'm proud of that. But it really grated at me the idea that the women in my life saw me as pointy or blunt, you know, it's something that needs smoothing out because that doesn't fit with my self image. If you asked me to describe myself, I would use words like patient, calm, compassionate. I know you guys on YouTube, you see me kind of doing these monologues and getting passionate. And that's absolutely a part of my personality. But it's also, I guess, the vibe, the energy that the YouTube algorithm sort of demands as somebody who's really getting in your face and telling you the facts. I know on Patreon, people see a much more softer, more nuanced side of me. But understand, I have a whole life outside of the internet. And in my real life, it's not like I go around talking to people in the same manner that I do on these YouTube videos. In my relationship with my girlfriend, it's not like our conversations are me lecturing at her. I'm very patient. I'm very supportive. As a father, I'm not the strict disciplinarian. Like I set boundaries, especially when it comes to her safety, but I'm very patient with her, very gentle, and I give her room to experience all of her emotions. I'm a gentle dad and partner. I'm very comforting. Where I live, I'm part of a co-counseling community, and every week I sit down with people and patiently listen to what they're going through, give them that presence, that attention. Even for you guys who have reached out to me on Hey Hero, which is the platform where I make personalized videos for people who want my advice, you know the kind of videos that you get in response are not just me dictating facts and like lecturing the, the truth at you. A lot of it is emotional empathy about what you're going through. That's how I think of myself, someone who's very calm, patient, and supportive. And it doesn't mean that I'm not capable of taking masculine action. I absolutely am. When it's time to step up, I'm right there. But what I found in my life experience is that the world often doesn't need me to take action all of the time. Often a softer, more gentle approach, you know, demonstrating some compassion and patience is actually all that's needed. And so I've worked really hard over the years to soften my own personality, obviously with some help from my partner, but I'd say I'm at the stage now where I'm like, yeah, very gentle, patient guy, which is part of why it stings a little bit to find out that women don't really notice that. Not when it comes from a man. I bet there's a bunch of guys watching this video right now who can absolutely relate to what I'm talking about. They're thinking, yeah, what's up with that? Why are my nice qualities, my patience, my calmness, my supportiveness, why does that seem to go unnoticed, unthanked by the women in my life? I'm going to explain that. So just think for a moment what this is like from the woman's perspective. Think about how she's experiencing the world, okay? So her inner life experience is a feminine one. It's soft. It's gentle. In fact, it's so soft and gentle that it's almost without form. It lacks boundaries and it can feel chaotic, which is what drives the panic that a lot of women experience, which leads them to seek out the masculine. I hope you understand that about women, that as much as they value their femininity and their emotionality, it's also terrifying to them because it's so formless, it's so chaotic, and they need men, they need that masculine energy, that presence in order to be able to feel safe. It's one of the prime reasons why women seek out partners. So you've got these women who are just all femininity, all softness, all emotions, and they're scanning the world for some safety, right? Like some noticeable presence of masculinity that they can latch onto and then wrap themselves around and start to feel safe in his masculine strength. But you can see from that perspective that when she's scanning the world, if she sees men who are inhabiting that same energy of feminine softness and gentility and patience, he's going to be invisible to her because she's thinking, I don't see what the point of you is. I don't know what value you could bring to you, my life. You've got that energy. Guess what? I've already got that in spades. I don't necessarily need more of it. The way I conceptualize it in my mind is like the night vision goggles. Have you ever seen that? It's from like the Jurassic Park movie. Everything's sort of green and black. But then when you see something with some heat, it's like yellow and red. That's how women are scanning the world. All the men who just have that same feminine niceness that they do, it's all just green and black. It just fades into the background. There's nothing that distinguishes it. But when they see a real man, a real masculine presence, he stands out, you know, yellow and bright red. And that same principle applies within a relationship dynamic in that as a man with your girlfriend, you might be nice, patient and supportive with her 23 hours out of 24. But for that one hour, you're stepping up and being a real masculine man, that's the part of you that she takes notice of. Even if you are a really well-rounded, balanced individual, you have a really good developed masculinity and a really well-developed femininity, 
women aren't going to notice that. They're not necessarily going to say, oh, he's such a balanced individual. Their eyes are fixed on your masculinity. All the nice energy that you inhabit and that you bring to her every day, she doesn't really notice it. Not, not really, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't benefit from it. Here's the nuance of it. This can get a little bit complicated, so just stay with me, okay? So your softness, your patience, your support, all that nice energy, that is actually nourishing her in a really important way. You can't throw that out. That's really important. But think of it like, like a three-course meal, okay? So if you fed her an entree, a main course, and a dessert, and all of the nutritional benefit to that meal was in the entree and the main course, you know, you've got your vegetables, your proteins, your carbohydrates, whatever. Like That's actually what makes her feel full. And in the end, for the dessert, you give her some really fancy strawberries, cream, chocolate, you know, dessert that tastes really good but doesn't really have much nutritional value and yet afterwards when she's telling people about the meal that's the part that stands out to her the real substance of her meal came in the first two courses but she's gonna sort of overlook that and it's gonna be the same way in your relationship the very basic boring building blocks of your interactions have to be defined by just you know mutual respect patience, support, comfort, niceness, all of that stuff. But there will be times when you need to step up 100% and be a man, show some masculinity. And it's those parts that she's going to remember that's going to stand out to her. She is a woman. She is feminine. And what stands out in her experience is something that deeply contrasts with her own being. It might be pleasant for her to be around safe, comfortable, familiar energy, you know, nice energy you know, coming from you most of the time, but that's not what's actually going to make that lasting impression. Now, hearing this, some men might ask the very legitimate question, okay, should I just ditch all of my gentleness, my femininity, my niceness? If I'm not going to get noticed and appreciated for that, what's the point? I, I could totally get where you're coming from, but you can't actually do that because you know what happens to men who don't have any femininity whatsoever. They just come in all macho, all the time, all masculinity, is that they're not going to last. A woman's not going to commit to a man like that. She'll sleep with him, guaranteed. She'll sleep with him way quicker than she'll sleep with most guys because that sexual attraction is specifically designed to respond to that kind of masculine energy. But in terms of an actual commitment, if you're still acting like the cocky, masculine, macho guy with her after months of commitment, she's going to get bored of you. Like, all right, this is too stressful. I can't deal with this energy all of the time. I just want to be able to relax. So if you want your relationships with women to be deeper than just one night stands and casual sex, then you've got to develop that softness. But the message of this video is that you can't expect that softness to be appreciated or even really noticed. And this goes both ways. I'm not saying that this is an exclusive problem that men are facing. Women have their own version of it. They're only really judged by their femininity. As a man, if you're in a relationship with a partner who's well balanced in terms of her masculinity and her femininity, you might, if you really think about it, be extremely grateful that she's developed her masculinity. You know, she can make decisions. She's self-sufficient. You know, it's the difference between having a real partner in your relationship as opposed to just somebody who's dependent upon you. And so you're grateful that she has those qualities, but it's not necessarily what stands out. It's it's just, you know, part of the blur. What really makes a mark in your mind, really makes a big impression are those feminine acts that she does for you. The kind words, the appreciation, the emotional nourishment. It's the femininity in women that men take notice of, and it's the masculinity in men that women take notice of. Now that you've heard this, you're going to begin to notice this in your real life, that even if you're a really well-balanced individual and a woman knows that there's something different about you, she can sense the patience that you have, the nice energy that you inhabit, and she wants to compliment you, she's always going to frame that compliment in masculine terms. She'll say the equivalent of, I love that your masculinity is not too overbearing. You're not like those alpha chad jerks that I used to date. That's how she'll conceptualize it in her mind, is that your masculinity is under control. It's restrained. She can't say what's actually going on, you know, that you have a fully developed masculinity and a fully developed femininity. And that's what makes you a balanced, dynamic individual. No, she's just thinking in terms of your masculinity. And it's like, I love that your masculinity is not too overbearing. And when you understand all of this, you can see that it's not really a problem. How she conceptualizes it in her mind it's not actually going to make a difference to your life because whether or not she can actually appreciate your patience and niceness in isolation as qualities deserving of admiration in and of themselves or whether she attaches it 
to the masculinity that stands out to her, it's still the same amount of gratitude. You just have to adjust your expectations and be aware that all compliments coming from women towards you are always going to be framed in terms of your masculinity. That's how they think. As a final example, imagine this situation. Imagine your girlfriend is trying to decide uh, a TV show to watch and she's flicking through channels or going through the streaming services and she can't decide and she's getting really agitated. If you step in from the start of that process, you know, being really masculine and you just be like, just pick something or like, let's watch this. And you, you make that decision for her. You're going to get a negative response because you came in too strong. There's too much masculinity. So what you do instead is you give her a little bit of space. You know, that's the feminine expression. You know, you allow her the room that she needs to be able to figure out what it is that she wants, or at the very least feel respected to be able to go through that process without you micromanaging her. And if it goes on too long, then yeah, masculinity kicks in and you might say, hey, let me help you out. I'd really like to watch this. Would that be okay with you? And at that point, she's probably really grateful. That's like, oh, thank you. Like, that's what I needed, some masculine strength to kick in. And she might not be aware that the reason why she's so appreciative of that masculine energy is because of the feminine energy that came before that. The fact that you gave her some space, that you showed some trust in her process before you ultimately stepped in. To her, it's only really defined by that final act that you took but you know different. In the eyes of women, your core identity, what defines you is always going to be masculinity. So no matter how much niceness, femininity you develop, it's never going to exist in her mind in isolation of that masculinity. It's only going to change the certain flavor of masculinity that you have. It's an irreducible fact of reality. You're a man and masculinity is what you've got. As a masculine man, he has a very tough situation to know what to do. If you're out in public with your girlfriend and there are other men making comments about her, suggestive comments, flirtatious comments, what is the right response in that situation? Do you ignore them? Do you fight the guys? Do you blame your girlfriend for giving out like a flirtatious energy? If you've ever been in a situation like this and you didn't know the right thing to do, then you're going to love my latest Patreon video because we do a full deep dive into the psychology of every person in this particular situation and the right way to handle it. If you'd like to see that video, then please come over to my Patreon. It only costs $5 and you get instant access to that video plus every other video in my back catalog. You can scroll through all the different topics, find the videos that are relevant to you and check them out straight away. I think it's tremendous value. I think we have a great community over there. I'd love to see you over there so that you can be a part of it.